Hello and welcome to another closet clean out because I have issues. Yeah, I have hoarded more clothes and I think it's time to be realistic. My weight is not gonna drop as significantly as I would want it to, so it's time to clean out the closet for the second time and really hone in on a minimalistic wardrobe that I can wear all the time without getting sick of it. And um, we are downsizing, we're moving out in about a month, so I figured this would be a good time to kind of whip everything out. There's a whole bunch on the bed once again, and I figured today is the day that I want to at least start the process. So if you're interested in finding out about what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping and kind of see me go through my closet again, then go ahead and keep on. Um, I guess let's begin with bathing suits because I ordered a new one from Laundre, which is a sustainable, all recycled water bottle type of bathing suit. So I definitely need to get rid of like almost all of my bathing suits just because they don't fit anymore and they're old and they're from like express so i'm gonna kind of shift you to the bed because um that's where i'm gonna be for a second sorting through all of these things so this pile over here is going to be my donation slash sell pile i don't like to donate a lot of stuff so i'm gonna try and sell as much of this as i can some just is a little bit older and wouldn't sell so donating would still find them a new home most likely um but i do have a couple of venues that i try to sell one will be social media the other ones will be taking them to like local resellers so like this could be plato's closet in nashville i have a couple of other options and then whatever does not sell in any shape or form will be donated i try to find places that like need specific donations versus just goodwill but we'll see what i end up doing i myself am sitting on the winter pile i am gonna try and um and just store that away these are all the things that i love and wear all the time obviously when it's hot i don't so it just makes sense to go ahead and store it away um even though crazily in florida i used to literally wear sweaters in the middle of the uh summer but uh i have changed my ways of being in comfortable things like this is just my new go-to so definitely keep those for winter time when i need to layer basically what's on the rack right now is what i am actually keeping it's what i wear all of the time all right so these are all my children's so basically what i've kept here are the things that i wear all the time and reach for all the time this kind of was based off of a couple of different lists for minimalism that I found online which basically said that you need a couple of different staples in each category and then a couple of like fun things if you want to keep those for you know switching things up or like throwing them on top of the things that you're already wearing now I definitely know that I don't wear skirts so I got rid of all of my skirts there's one skirt that I'm like it's sitting in my maybe pile and my maybe pile really ended up being three things the skirt that's in my maybe pile is one that I got made in Vietnam so I'm like super attached to it 
The other is an expansive jumpsuit that I bought recently from a sustainable store. And then another is a pair of jeans. Uh, they're similar color than the ones that I kept, but they're a different style. But those are not the jeans that I kind of gravitated towards anyway. So I think that they're gonna really quickly move on to the actual like selling donating pile. So I kept like a cardigan type of tie sweater and the sweater that I wear all of the freaking time, which is like my long sweater. So I have five like white blouses that I definitely rotate through a lot. Um, then I kept two flannels because I love flannels. I have kind of like a frilly top here, one tank top that I wear all of the time. The other two tank tops were too small so I just had to get rid of them. This shirt I wear all the time. There is one romper in here. There is a little black dress that I wear all of the time because it's hot. Um, I'm keeping this and hoping that I will lose maybe just a couple of inches off of my waist and will be able to fit into this. Then this black romper. I love this romper. It's super comfortable. I can't get rid of it. This is also something that I'm hoping that I will fit into with all the things that I'm trying to do lately. It's just such a beautiful white dress. I've definitely not gotten enough out of it and it was expensive. So I'm going to keep this and just hope, you know, like it's... It won't take up that much room and really there's only the two dresses in here that like I can't wear right now but can probably in the future. Then this obviously green dress. I'm obsessed with this dress and then obviously I'm obsessed with this long dress. I did keep a black dress. It's like a long sleeve turtleneck so it's going to be in the winter stuff. Clearly can't wear it all of the time. Sorry I had to move you because my head was being cut off. So I'm definitely keeping this denim jacket even though I really thought twice about this because Daniel has a denim jacket but... What if we want to be matchy matchy and cute and I need one, you know? So I'm just going to keep this. I've had it for a really long time. It fits so well. It's like an oversized one and I just love it. This I obviously wear all of the time. How could I ever get rid of this? And then I have this white loungewear set, which I wear all of the time. Maybe not with the pants, but I definitely wear this hoodie all the time now with like shorts and stuff. Um, really love that. A white t-shirt, obviously a green t-shirt. Always good to have a couple of different t-shirts. This set I'm obsessed with and then I guess I could move this um, over it because this is also like a loungewear set that I'm really, really all about and I wear it all of the time. Then we have a just a white kind of like jumper just for when I'm cold and want to throw something on. Um, and then we have some lounge sets. There's one with shorts. There's one with like actual pants. Then I have this black loungewear set because I like to lounge and these are definitely really comfortable things for me to just be in when I don't feel like wearing clothes. And that's something that's really important is just making sure that you're not only keeping clothes that you would wear um, like out and about, but definitely clothes that you would wear inside the house. And those are definitely things that I wear all the time. Then I decided to keep this black shirt, which I'm pretty sure that last time I did the closet clean out, I was like, maybe I should get rid of it. I wear it all the time with high-waisted leggings. So I figured I would keep it. This goes really well with my overalls and I just like how this looks on me. And it definitely like, is the pizzazz in my closet so i'm gonna keep this and then we have a white and a black workout but pretty versatile set of like long sleeved crop tops uh then i just kept a another black like throw over sweater this is perfect for traveling when we start doing that or like road trips just to be comfy this is just national memorabilia and i do wear this sweater kind of often so definitely gonna keep and then this is like a workout sweater I like oversized things. I do wear this quite often when it's like chilly um, in the house and stuff. And then here I have, um, I'm gonna take this off because there's two things on here. So I have a darker pair of jeans and a lighter pair of jeans. These are both thrifted. These both fit me really, really well and I really, really love them. So definitely gonna keep them. They're both made well also, ironically. Um, then I have my black teacher pants and my linen nude pants. They're just super nice and comfortable to wear with like, those long sleeve shirts or any of my other little shirts they're just the best and they can be worn like when it's kind of colder outside and they can definitely be worn when it's hot outside so i'm definitely going to keep them and then we have my expensive ass overalls so i'm going to keep those then we have the overalls that i cut myself and um, these are definitely really awesome for the summertime because it's really hot and then i have some jean shorts that i cut myself too and i also do have like these little sleeper shorts which i do wear around the house so now i'm going to show you what's on the bed like you saw these are my bathing suits i might get rid of this one when i get the black laundry one in i don't know we'll see 
These are the four t-shirts I kept. Um, this is the skirt that I'm unsure about, and then these are the jeans and the overalls that I'm not sure about. They're just a... I really wish I would have bought them in a white color because I would not even be having this conversation right now if I didn't buy them in this burnt orange color. And then these are like my workout thing. So I have a pair of shorts one black bra. So this is one pair of yoga pants, two pair of yoga pants. I have a couple of workout bras here, so I have three. And then I have these workout pants, and these are the Thinks workout pants, so I'm just including those into here. Oh, and I also kept a Victoria's Secret pair that I wear all the time. There's another pair that I'm gonna get rid of because they're just not high-waisted enough anymore, and no, I don't like that, and I don't like that, and I wanna get rid of them. So this is my workout stuff. Oh, and these are the swimsuits that I'm getting rid of. So I think overall, I really did a good job. Obviously, I'm keeping this outfit that I'm in because I, it's new and I love it. I really think I did a good job. Like, this is less than I had last time, which even last time I was like, oh, I did so good. So I do want to offer up a little bit of advice when it comes to cleaning out your closet. I've done this twice now. And I feel like I definitely have learned a lot, first of all, about myself, but also about the process. I think the best thing that I've done between the two cleanings is really pay attention to what I'm wearing. What I saw one person talk about on YouTube was if you're really unsure about all the clothes in your closet, put them the other way into the closet to like switch the hanger. And then what clothes end up the right side are definitely the clothes that you wear more often and the things that are left facing the other way are just things that you never touched up on and never picked to wear and never even like questioned. And those would be the things that you do wanna get rid of. They're just sitting in your closet for that. Like, well, maybe one day I'll wear that. I went through that so many times in the last apartment that I was in where I would be like, I don't know what to wear. And I would try on all these things and I, they were just all things where I was like, nothing looks good. I'm gonna stick to the things that I wear all the time anyways. Like all of these things that are sitting in here that are just the maybe clothes, get rid of them. You're never gonna wear them. You might as well try and sell them and make a little bit of money instead of just having that collect dust in your closet. And I also want to say that with minimalism, you have to be realistic on that. Like you will just not wear that many clothes. Like I literally wear the same 10 outfits all of the time. <laughs> like I rotate between the same outfits. And what's nice is that, you know, when you have a couple of basics, you can switch them and swap them and create completely new outfits. Another tidbit is just be realistic about how many pieces of this specific category you have. So I think for like pants, which, you know, those are kind of the things that you'd be washing more often. Having four or five or six pairs is fine. Having a couple of sweaters is fine. A couple tank tops is fine. A couple of nice shirts, if you like wear nicer blouses more often than anything else, have a couple more of those. Like I kept six because I literally wear those all of the time. Those are the ones that I constantly gravitate to. I look good in them. I feel good in them. So I'm going to keep them. I definitely kept more of like loungewear, but that's because quarantine happened and, I always, and then I've always been a homebody and it's nice to be comfortable in the clothes that you're in but it's also nice to feel good in the outfit that you're wearing at home right like so me having those sets is just what makes me feel good and I feel confident in them even though I am in some sweatpants and a sweater you know I think just really the most important is really paying attention to what you wear on a daily basis what you wear when you're going to dinner what you wear when you're seeing your friends and just really honing in on those things and being really strong when it comes to being like like, okay, I need to cut this out or okay, this is not something that I wear on a daily basis. So that is all that I have to say. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, it was spazzy because that's just who I am. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.